you're only doing all of this to get a yes or a no. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't done the sums yet. <laughs> I just got to. <laughs> So let's publicize who gives the value of R first. Look for consensus. There could be slight roundup errors, that's not a problem. think this is complicated, think of the complexity of Pearson finding the equation. <laughs> I think this is really bored. <laughs> <laughs> really brilliant and really bored. Agreed. Pretty close circle of conspirators. No. What's your no R number? Negative point zero 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 two one two three nine two. see how you <coughs> made an error in just a few numbers. <laughs> Good news is 
is you can use the same table to find B0 and B1. You got a yes? Calculators mess, messing up. Yeah, you know, these are um, lengthy calculations. No step, single step of which is difficulty, but so many opportunities for slip of the pen and error. It says domain error. You have to split you your You killed number, your calculator. I did. Killed it. I'm only trying to do the square root of n times the sum of b y squared minus Okay, what you do, did you, is there a square root involved? Yes. You're square rooting a negative number, that's what it's telling you. Yeah, it's telling you you're square rooting a negative number, so you want to revisit that. Remember, those parentheses are important. The sum of x squared in parentheses is different from the sum of x parentheses squared. So make that distinction. Is this the same as that? So this is the sum of the x squared column. This is the sum of the x column squared. The sums of different columns. This is the sum of the column that has an x squared at the top. This is the sum of the column that has an x at the top, giving you a sum of x when you square that. So that's generally where your minus sign error can come from. Oh, they're pretty close. <laughs> um, Go ahead, stick it out there, Tony Venture. I'm not going to because <laughs> I know that it's so wrong. But I don't, what is horrible is that I don't know where I went wrong. That's the worst part. Well, there's so many places you could go wrong. If it's a, I mean, it's a Pandora's box. There's a hundred places you could go wrong. Oh, no. Unfortunately, it's an odd number, so you can't check the back of the book, but uh, and I don't have an answer. So you're just going to have to do it right. Yeah. No! <laughs> well, look, that's pretty big. I refuse to do it correctly. <laughs> Total rebellion in the seventh and the eighth week. In the ninth hour. The eleventh hour. <laughs> Cutting loose. This is a type of calculation that could be done easily on a computer, and Hannah has an R number. You figured out what I did? Negative point two two zero nine. Well, there it is. Negative point two two zero nine. I don't know if it's right or not. I'm about to take a word for it. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's right. It's our first number to put down. We've got five more to go. I feel like, did you get negative 62.75 at the top? I don't calculate individually. Oh. I'm trying not to. Calculator. No, you're right. You put that whole thing in the calculator with parentheses. Right? That's what you got? Okay. Right, right. Because right. you, you do right. the right. multiplication right. first and then you subtract them. That's so. awesome. Did I know that rule? Wow. Because I did it both ways. I punched it in my calculator all together, and then I did the multiplication separately. Okay. This is not for um, this is not for algebra students. This is for statistics students here at this level. Yeah, me too. We'll put you back on formula. <laughs> 
Okay, well, certainly amongst your group, you'll resolve the discrepancies and reach consensus. And I'll be better for you. Can you raise your hand if you filled out the evaluation on Leo? Hi. No, I haven't filled it. Oh, okay. Um, when the window go? How about I check this? Okay. What did you guys get for the sum of X? There you go. Five eighty point five. Five eighty point five. How about Y? Yeah. Five seventy six point five. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's why I messed up that one. Great. You are a leader. I know. I'm tired of this. I was just gonna ask. I was like, do are you selfish? What's the sum of X Y? Forty one thousand or forty one thousand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just give me numbers. I don't need all that thousand. Okay. Four one eight two four point five. Yes. Oh. Eight two four point five. All right. Oh, my calculator. And what is? Going straight in the trash. I told you. <laughs> you got one. That's why I bought Kaylee a new one. You're doing this by hand? Yes, she was last <laughs> year. Okay. Calculator. And put it in what did you get for sum of x squared? 4214.75. Yes. I got that as well. I got that too. Okay. And y squared? 41595.25. 41595.25. Okay. okay. What was x, y again? Four, four, uh, nine, Four, one, eight, two, four, four, okay, four, now you guys did the part where the errors are likely, and you didn't make any errors. Now you just can't put them into a simple expression and work that out. So that's... Uh, I feel like I'm going to have an answer because I have one of these on. I'm sorry, x, y was what? Four, one, eight, two, four, point five. Okay, I'm feeling good now, guys. Okay, what was okay. y squared? I'm you sorry. Feel, and then man. the you sum feel. of x squared was... Feel the force, Luke. I can add all the rolls that up. Thank you. And the sum of x squared was 336980.25. Wait, what? For x? The sum of x. Uh-huh. Quantity squared. Quantity squared. Yes. Oh, that. I was like, what? I was like, that's not <laughs> okay. Yeah. You said three, three, six, nine, eight, zero. Which one was it? It's this one. That what? Yes, that. Right. What did you say you got for that? Three, three, six, nine, eight, zero point two five. Okay, that's what I got. Okay, and what'd you get for Y for that? The same one. Yeah. Uh, three, three, two, three, five, two point two five. Okay, okay you so guys can't miss. Our math is right until we get it into the calculator. Okay. Okay. I'm still not even. I'm, I'm still working on that part right. out. Because <laughs> I can't even think that. Well, you got to take square roots too. That's. Uh, yeah. Some people call it actually boring. <laughs> Accounting major. I have a different word for this problem. <laughs> 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 it's not appropriate. <laughs> We had a guy that was putting in new doors in the hallway, and he had this drill. So like, he was just drilling one hole after another. We he asked him how he found his job. He said it was boring. I'm sorry, what? what are you Sum of x squared, 3703.1.5. No. No? Nowhere close to that, huh? Wait, what? The sum of x squared. Which one? This one or that one? This one or that one? This one or that one? This one you mean, right? I mean, I'm talking about the very beginning where you... So I mean, you know, the 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 oh, yeah, no. That one I got yes, we two have two consensus. And the consensus is? For what? Negative point two two zero. Congratulations. Go home. You're closer to the t-shirt. Now you get to do the second part. You need to get the regression equation, but not here. We have consensus for the number on the board. Just take their word, bro. Okay, wait. I'm looking at the chart and now I'm kind of confused. Oh, well, yeah, you got to get a yes out of it. Now, you ignore the sign in the chart. Plus and minus are the same because you're only looking at strength. Only Not a right tail or correlation. left tail test, right? That's like, yeah. so it's just come two, two, right? Zero. So you just look at the number, 2209, and you compare that to the N column. What's the size of N here? Eight. 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 <clears throat> So do you get a yes or no? You get a no. You get a no? You still get a no. Yeah, you still get a no. Well, <clears throat> interesting. <clears throat> so now you get to go to the second part of the problem, 
where you calculate the regression equation, b0 and b1. Not beta, because you can't go to beta with a no. You have to stay with b's. And then you have to evaluate the regression equation for the given value of x, if you can. Sorry. We have another one on board, 2209. Did you get a different answer? No, same. 2209. I got something different. Negative point two. I don't know. I definitely did something because I got like negative. Have an answer. And the answer is a no. But that doesn't mean you can't do the next page. You can do the next page. You can get the regression. You can get B zero and B one as the regression equation. But you just can't use it. That's for the next set of problems. Yes, that's right. Okay. So a good start. Good start. Very good. Since I took 30 minutes to do that one thing. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to practice You get better. Okay, we're done. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> Look, you're done next week. You don't have to, Tuesday, no. You don't have to come to the podcast. Why is English a hard language to teach to other <laughs> nationality? Please tell me the difference between a day off and an off day. Yes, I cannot translate. Do you want these back? Or these? Uh, when you're done with them, I recommend you keep them for a couple of days. So you hand out, keep them until you have had enough of them, then I'll take them back. So, I never got it. Oh, got it. Was top negative? Got yeah, 62. Yeah, it was 62.25. It would have to be. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, you guys are bust yeah. through the door. Yeah. A little bit. We're pretty much wants to do this for a living, so all the numbers. This all is what I have to drink tonight. It's okay. <laughs> Get some. I think I have some sitting on the stairs. You deserve. You deserve. No wine during the week. You deserve. Not anymore. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you do feel like you deserve rewards after these classes. No, I'm like super serious about the people party on Thursday, though, after we're done with our tests. Hey, okay, so I have like this. I know that last class, the end of last class, I was super mad with my Okay, but then what am I supposed to 
Okay, so ten pages. Like you didn't teach us can anything. Can you get the camera, professor? Because this conversation is about to get very inappropriate. That's exactly why I want the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are sections of sexuality, like asexuality, that have absolutely. I'm sure you know. You studied that have absolutely nothing to do with sex. What kinds of sex? Are you talking about no, cellular biology? No, he said. Stuff the, like that? Remember that conversation we had this morning? <laughs> Don't ten page paper on pheromones. How come? How am I? But that's not observational. She, I have to go, like, I have to go to a place, like, and it can be literally anywhere. It can be Burger King. And I can sit down and watch two people interact for an hour, and then I have to write a 10 page paper on it. And it doesn't have to have anything to do with anything we learned in the whole class. You know what? You can do it on us while we go to the Milky Hey! <laughs> like, I really am confused. Like, okay, what am I so to I was going to go about? off, like, in totally weird, darker, yeah. not so nice deep end. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to have anything to do with. Well, he said this does not have to do with anything, any sexual relations whatsoever. It can be about any psychological theories you want. Oh, okay, which is great, free reign, right? But that's not what the class was about. So how do I know something for the class? He, I think it's because like sex is so very, very personal to most people. He didn't want to make it an observational he was bored. sex paper. And it's ten pages. Like, right. You're supposed to just like watch couples in a moment and see how they interact and, and do some like, right, so, like obvious, on how Obviously, they like the easiest way to spin it is going to be watching like either a male and female or female and female or male and male with um, sexual interest interact group, with one another. Yeah. What about YouTube videos? Yeah. You can observe I, YouTube videos, right? Like the I don't know, People, maybe do some research on YouTube videos on it. That's a good idea. Maybe you should like do one, like, you, you can do a, do some a mix. See, you know, people interact in a formulaic situation, and I hate to say this, but porn and whatnot. That's a formula, right? right. It's sex for money. Like, I hate to say that, but... They got 100 pranks, too, have you said? Yeah, I guess that's an idea. Yeah. Well, no, They're well, really it's a human sexuality things. class, yeah. right? So, like, I mean, um, not to be Like, all this guy's guy kissing his girl up against a car. You know, really raunchy kissing. Out so by the beach with a right, right yeah, by. Do it on PDA and uh, the guy right. walks by. So um, PDA uh, the guy That's watches him kissing. And <laughs> one of the kisses, the guy takes his camera and says, "The guy walking by, could you take a picture of me and my sister, please?" <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> I don't know. I would. I would. I would. Look up. <laughs> look up the topic on YouTube: human sexuality. Yeah. And I mean, he wants us to like go to a place and actually mm -hmm. observe with our own two eyes. And then write about it. I just feel like ten pages is really excessive for that. I do too. I feel like five, maybe pages. six. Right, yeah. but for a topic that you're giving no guidance on whatsoever. Did you ask him for clarification? Well, I did personally, but somebody else did, and, what is it? and he said that it basically it's free reign. This, these are the instructions. Yeah, follow these. Follow these guidelines. Did, did he give a grading, Ruby? I'll have to. He didn't make it available yet, so I'll have to look at it. Six. Yeah. Um, looking at syllabus yeah. again. Final project in the syllabus, and maybe yeah. that'll help you. Mm -hmm. He like cut and pasted from the syllabus. It seems um, strange. These are the directions. It seems I would like he's abandoning the course. I, I mean, I would get it if it was like just a general psychology class, that would be different. But then what was the point of me learning what we learned for the past eight weeks if I don't have to know it for my final paper? Because this is an elective. Was so, it interesting? Uh, no, not, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Well, okay. give him some slack to hear his reasons. Yeah. I know, but I just, but it's due, I mean, it's due Sunday.